Hi, it's Evan. I'm an airline pilot, an avid home flight simmer, and I'm here to talk to you about the benefits of home flight simulation for pilot training, currency, and proficiency. Home flight simulation is using your home computer, a laptop, or a desktop with something like a yoke or a joystick to control an airplane in a simulator. And it has amazing benefits for what you're doing in the real airplane, whether it be getting set for a check ride or just keeping your skills sharp in between flights. You'll see that a lot of people have spent many years getting set up. They have probably done a lot of research. They've bought a lot of equipment. And hey, you can do all that research and you may end up getting a great result. But I also know lots of home simmers and most of the people who are enthusiasts, they don't really want to be pilots. They just love flying. They didn't start with a fancy setup that costs $4,000 and a whole lot of hardware. They didn't watch a lot of videos. They just got started. And I think for us real world pilots, that's an important lesson. This is not like flying an airplane. We don't need 40 hours of CFI instruction because we're not putting our lives at risk when we fly a computer. And so I think if you start small and you build over time, you'll have a much better experience because you're gonna learn what you like and what you don't like as you get going. So you really don't need a whole lot of research and a whole bunch of videos. You can do all that stuff, but if you just start, I think you'll find very quickly what you know, what you don't know, and you'll be able to build to what you like. So let's talk about three quick steps that you could get started on right now if you've been thinking about getting started in home flight simulation. And we'll talk about some of that other complex stuff in a little while. It all starts with downloading a flight simulator onto your computer. Now there's three main choices. They're all available for $60 and you can find them on the internet. Microsoft Flight Simulator is probably the biggest name right now in this particular industry. They released a new version back in August 2020 and they've been updating it regularly ever since. It has amazing, just stunning graphics, and it's totally sort of redesigned the bar when it comes to what flights in it should look like. However, the fidelity of the simulator isn't the same as some of the other options. So when it comes to how the airplanes function or the airport detail where taxiways are and where taxiway signs are, and even how the airplane feels, it may not give you as realistic an experience as some of the other options. On the other hand, X-Plane 11, which we recommend for anyone who's a real pilot transitioning to the simulator, it is specifically designed around flight dynamics. So in X-Plane, the aircraft that you fly should feel about as close as possible to real life. The fidelity of the aircraft is also much higher. So you'll be able to use systems like a G-1000 directly in X-Plane without having to go out and find other options. You'll be able to see airports that are mostly true to life. There's also a third option called Prepared or P3D. That's great for airliners. And we can chat about that one-on-one -on -one if you're interested in learning more. You can see a quick comparison of the default Cessna 172 across all three simulators here on the screen. And you can also watch a little bit more about this on our website on the setting up a home simulator guide. We actually go through a comparison in a little more detail of each of these three simulators, but I wouldn't get stuck up on that. X-Plane is a great place to start, especially if you've already got real world experience. Next step, buy a cheap joystick. You know, we talk a lot about the hardware and there's amazing options out there right now. What you're going to buy if you go out and buy a cheap joystick is not what you're going to use for your entire flight simming career. This is just a really good place to start. And most people that I know who are true simmers, they may not be pilots, they're just enthusiasts. They've used something just like this. Go to your local electronics store, go to Amazon and buy a cheap joystick for 30 or $40. You can control the airplane with a mouse and keyboard. Or you can use like a gaming console controller. Those are not the same. Get a joystick, trust me, it'll be worth it. It's only 30 or 40 bucks. Now we'll use one caution if you're looking at a place where maybe you're buying stuff used. Just be careful with prices because we are having this massive shortage, not just in flight sim, but across all kinds of computers and hardware right now due to the pandemic. So just be careful, make sure you're getting something that's for a reasonable price. Again, big box stores, most of them will have a cheap joystick that you can use and that'll make your experience much better. And step three is, just get started, set aside one evening. You're not supposed to like it, it's not gonna be great. It probably won't be amazing, it probably won't be all that much fun, but the whole point is to try it, not to like it and not to be happy with it, just to try it. Don't get too hung up on the settings, just pick a plane, start the engine, see what it feels like. Because now you're gonna to start to learn what you like and what you don't like, and you'll be in a much better position to decide where you can go next. And this is a great place for us to jump in and give you some help. It's easy to get started. As simple as downloading one of those three flight simulators, Microsoft Flight Sim, Prepared, or X-Plane, 
onto your computer. Now, hey, you might be saying, I don't have a great desktop computer. My computer's pretty old. Well, hey, there's an app for that. If you don't have a gaming computer, one that's maybe within the last five years or so, you could get started on an app called Infinite Flight. It costs $2 in the App Store or on Google Play. It's not the same experience as flying a desktop simulator, but if you just kind of want to see what it's like, that's a nice place to bridge the gap before you actually get started in true desktop flight simulation. So you've got your home sim downloaded on your computer. Now go out and get a cheap joystick, plug it in, that's all the setup that you need to do, and then get flying. Give it a try, see what you like, see what you don't like, and now is a good time for you to start going and doing a little bit of research on where you want to take this next. And we'd be happy to help you with that. At Flight Simulation Association, our mission is to help make it a little bit easier for people to get into home flight simulation. We don't do anything like affiliates or commissions, so I'm not being paid by anybody to give you this message. I'm just trying to be helpful based on my own experience to give you a little bit more information about how easy it is to get started. We have partnered with many organizations though to offer some fantastic discounts across hardware and software, so that may make it a little bit cheaper for you. For example, X-Plane 11, we've got a 10% off coupon that you can use to save a few bucks when you make that purchase. We also have a series of guides, we do live webinars, and we even do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want to sit down and say, look, here's my goals, I want to kind of know what my budget should be, or I'm trying to represent a certain thing, we can help you with that and we can also put you in touch with consultants who actually do that kind of thing on a regular basis where they'll actually take your requirements and help you design a simulator that you're looking for. But to me, that's kind of the next step. You need to get started first, see what you like and see what you don't like, and then that conversation will be really meaningful. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation talking about those three quick steps to get you started in home flight simulation. And more than anything else, I hope you start because flight simulation has had an amazing impact on my life. And I know many pilots and students who wouldn't go without it. If you'd like to learn more about this and about flight simulation, you can visit us at flightsimassociation.com. We've got guides, resources, live webinars, and even one-on-one -on -one coaching to help get you started. Most of our content is free. If you're interested in unlocking additional benefits and perks, you can also subscribe for $3 a month or $30 a year, and you get access to hundreds of dollars in savings, plus some of those individual one-on-one -on -one sessions I was talking about. So if you're thinking about home flight simulation, if you've been wondering about whether it can help you, Now's the time to get started. Download a simulator, go get a joystick, give it a try, and come visit us at flightsimassociation.com.